All right, uh, just a quick video on Horizon and the fact that on a sphere, you cannot have a Horizon. It is impossible. Because a sphere is composed of uh, a set of points that are all the same distance from the uh, center, basically. This would mean every point is different. Um, as far as relative to a horizontal plane, uh, so you could not possibly have a horizon on a sphere, no matter how big its behavior is the same. When we look at the definition on Wikipedia, of course, for the horizon, everyone's familiar with the horizon, of course. It separates the earth from the sky is what we see here and here this line this infamous line that we were trained to view as a drop or a curve now uh, there's a paragraph here which is kind of um, revealing now I know it's Wikipedia and it is edited but um, it pretty much tells the story here it says in many contexts especially perspective drawing the curvature of the earth is disregarded and the horizon is considered the theoretical line to which points on any horizontal plane converge when projected onto the picture plane as their distance from the observer increases so they're basically saying like because I'm an artist and um, when we draw things with the perspective we know in mind that it is continually horizontal um, even though we can't see it this is understood this is a fact um, when you're doing landscapes um, especially anything outside for observers near sea level, the difference between the geometrical horizon, which assumes a perfectly flat, infinite ground plane, and the true horizon, which assumes a spherical Earth surface, is imperceptible to the naked eye. Um, so what they're saying is, <laughs> basically, there's you, you can't tell the difference, um, because geometrically, it's flat. Like I said, um, to say it's a sphere is pseudo-geometry. Uh, but then, of course, here comes the disinfo about the so-called true horizon. Now, <laughs> the true horizon, uh, of course, they're saying is what we see uh, here. This would be, they're saying this is the true horizon. Now, the first problem with all of these is we always have to concede um, as flat earthers. Um, globe earthers always get a handicap because we always have to give these examples from the top as if everyone is standing at the top. Um, now, clearly, as I said, on a sphere, there is no horizon because from whichever point you stand on a sphere, and if it is given that we experience a level, then we would be uh, perpendicular to any surface on the sphere. Any point surrounding us drops off. How can there be a horizon? This is false. Um, this character looking down this way. That's not a true horizon. That's fake. Um, these diagrams they give us are so <laughs> fictional. Um, even here, like um, with this fancy equation, uh, regardless, if this is the horizon, then first of all, Earth would be vastly smaller than we think. How could this be the horizon? With the leaning building, which we don't see in real life. Uh, we don't get the leaning buildings. But how could this be the horizon? You're talking about this is the what this is this is the whole span of the top of the earth here. Are we at the North Pole? Where is this exactly? It's like we're um we're giving them a handicap by agreeing to even diagram this crap out on a ball which doesn't ever make sense. Because here's the curvature calculator I uh, brought up in a previous video and this example here this is 10 feet, uh, this observer is 10 feet high. This target is uh, 455 feet. This is the horizon, which is considered to be about 3.8 miles away. So, and this distance here is 30 miles from uh, observer to target. So, what they're saying is this is the horizon. This is 3 miles away. Now, first of all, if this is 3 miles on the uh, globe, then the globe is very small. If this is three miles, this is like what? Six miles, 12 miles? 
and this is the curve, then this ball is not that big. Uh, none of their examples make sense. This is not even scientific. Uh, but let's just assume it to be. If this observer here is 10 feet high, this horizon here. Well, let's say I was on a building about uh, 1,000 feet high. <laughs> there would be no horizon using their own uh, diagrams. It's like they shoot themselves in the foot. This makes no sense. Now, again, also, we would be, this would have to be slanted because we experienced level. This wouldn't be straight up. And so, um, like I said, you're on a sphere. Every point surrounding you would descend on a sphere, no matter where you stand. Um, it would not be level. On a level, uh, of course, you get this phenomenon, which is um, the horizon rising to eye level. On a sphere, you could not possibly get this. On this sphere. Um, and like uh, somebody told me, uh, yeah, they said, yeah, if it was a globe, everywhere would be a hill. Uh, this is a climb. How could this be the horizon? And... It's like, uh, how come we are never standing on the horizon? Like, uh, how come we always have to look out? How come no one is ever on the horizon from their perspective, viewing the curve go downward? Uh, this boat down here, when we zoom in, of course, we see it's flat. But if this were the curve, the boat would view this descent. Um, but it's always level. It's always plain. It's always flat because it's flat. So what we're seeing here is this that's what we're seeing same phenomenon here um, we know this is not uh, squeezing into a hole a keyhole uh, we'll continue to walk down this hallway knowing that it is actually equal distance and it's um, our perspective it's just how our eyes work we take it for granted uh, usually until it comes to this horizon then we um, lose all sense and claim it's a curve because we were trained to but um this is a uh, perpetually level here uh there's no that boat experiences no descend over a curve uh so these graphs are phony of course they're nonsensical and they're a handicap argument given to the globe birthers which um so this debate is not even um there's no debate here because we can't rest on these graphs which are not real these diagrams are fictional they're not accurate depictions of experience. So, trash. These are fails. <laughs> Fail. And when we look at the um, spherical trigonometry of someone about 5'7", the uh, curve would be 5.6 feet. Which means there's no horizon because this would be a drop. And again, uh, we're also giving them another concession because uh, what do you what do we mean by curve? Uh, would the curve start here? Um, would it start here? Would it be a drop? Would it be a curve? I mean, like this argument is just so baseless, it has no basis in reality. It's a fictional debate. Um, the Earth has always been flat. We've always been on a level surface. Peace.